Hey, Goran, uh, one with a quick follow. I, I know you've had some really strong stretches over the course of your career, but to put up 20 or more in five straight playoff games um, from the beginning, including that one week break, how long has it been since you felt you were in a groove quite like this? And, and do you have sort of any explanation for, for the offensive breakout now? And, uh, you know, this is not my first road. And of course, this is probably the best basketball that I play in the playoffs. Um, I feel really comfortable. Um, you know, I'm already a vet. I know what to expect. And that definitely helps how to prepare myself. Uh, but, um, you know, I'm just enjoying myself. I think so. That's the biggest reason. You know, I have that smile on my face. I, I love my teammates. We hang out together. It, for me, it feels like I'm back with the national team. You know, when you spend maybe one month and a half, two months away from your family and with those uh, guys. And for me, it's exactly the same here in the bubble. So, um, you know, um, the only focus right now is about basketball. And of course, try to win games. And uh, this is something that, um, you know, if you go home and, you know, you got kids at home and wife, it's a little bit different. So, Goran, one quick thing. Um, you played some minutes yesterday with Kendrick and Tyler together. I, I know that um, that did happen in the regular season. I think 22 times you guys played at least some minutes together. Uh, what are the? I know you've played in three guard lineups before. I remember Phoenix <laughs> with yeah. with Bledsoe and Isaiah. How how does that work uh, for you guys? Because all three of you can handle the ball. I mean, you know, all three we can handle the ball. All three we can shoot the ball. So I think so that. The guy who has the ball and, you know, the, the main thing is uh, the guy needs to make a good decisions, you know, if he's open, shoot it, or he needs to create for somebody else. And from there on, it, it's not tough because nobody's uh, selfish in this team. Everybody, you know, is playing for each other. So, uh, you know, it's no no problem. We know that who got the best available shot, he's going to take it. If this is an extra pass, we're going to make it. So. Goran, you seem to be the guiding force, especially among the backcourt guys, keeping them level-headed, you know, letting them appreciate what the league is all about. See what Kendrick went through. Don't play at all. First three playoff games, count it on when Jimmy has the shoulder in game four, then get rotation minutes last night against the Bucks. How do you think it's been on a young kid like that? And what's the process been with you and him to sort of guide him through that, a guy who started every appearance he made in the regular season? Um, I mean, it, it's not easy. It's been tough, you know, to be a starter for the whole season. And then, you know, fortunately, uh, he got COVID and uh, he was not here with us at the beginning of the bubble. But, um, you know, um, you know, we have bigger goals. We want to win a championship and we tell him, you know, stay with it. We're going to need you uh, in the series. And you can see, you know, he's still ready. Uh, he played uh, uh, amazing last night, 16 minutes, and uh, you know we keep encouraging. He's still young, and uh, just try to you know try to uh, talk to him as much as possible, give him encouragement and to be focused. So. Gorn, what's the proper perspective to have on a position you're in, uh, being able to uh, enjoy the success and and ride the wave of being up early in the series, but but knowing that there's still work to be done. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, we didn't do nothing yet, you know, uh, we only win the first game. So we know that they're going to come back and they're going to play more harder the second game. So um, on us is to be ready um, to bring more intensity and to play even better defensively. And, uh, you know, um, we did uh, had a practice today, went through their um, plays again and um, you know, just the main thing for us is, um, you know, to be focused on defensive end because we know in offense we're going to score. So. Hey, Goran, obviously nobody wanted the season to be suspended, but how beneficial was that break for you and your body? And do you feel, do you think you would feel this good, this fresh, um, you know, on a, on a normal timeline in the playoffs? Yeah, I would. Uh, you know, it's still a game and one, uh, one day in between, but... I was a little bit worried because we didn't have a game for six, seven days. And, you know, especially the first series uh, against Indiana, I feel great. And then I'll start thinking a little bit, OK, uh, you know, I don't want to lose that um, consistency and everything. So, uh, but, you know, our coaching, coaching, uh, 
coaches did, did an amazing job on practice and tried to simulate the game. And, you know, when this first game in, against Milwaukee came, we were all ready. Cool. Well, you touched on it a bit there, but Spo has always been very good at designing schemes to just special players like Giannis. How much attention to detail does this room require and, and how, um, how, what sort of discipline does it require? I mean, a lot, a lot of focus, discipline, um, you know, you need to run back and try to um, try to make that wall so he doesn't, he doesn't see the open gaps. And from there on, probably the one of the toughest thing is to close out to the shooters. Um, you know, he's, he, he developed that game that he can break guys and then he can find the open guys. And from there on, we just need to have a second, third, fourth effort and try to close those guys from their shots. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a team effort, team defense. So. Hey, Goran, um, uh, today's the 25 year anniversary of Pat coming to the Heat. And obviously you've been with the organization now for six seasons. I'm wondering any, you know, any good or special moments that stick out to you of interactions with Pat? And, and, you know, obviously he was there in the bubble yesterday. I wonder if you had a chance to talk to him. I mean, you know, every time when you, when you talk to Pat, it's, 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 uh, it's amazing. You know, you can learn so much from him. You know, he's, He's been through everything as a player, as a coach, uh, as a, you know, president, GM. So he got a lot of knowledge. And, you know, every time when I talk to him, I'm only ears and eyes and try to learn as much as possible. Yesterday, I did say hello from the distance. I told him, Pat, Andy, appreciate you guys for coming. And, uh, you know, it's, it's for me, you know, I'm just happy to be part of this organization and, um, you know, to, to fight for this jersey. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Hey, Gorn, you, you've played with a lot of great players and you've seen them get hot before. At what point did you realize that Jimmy had it going and and he said you guys encouraged him? So what, what was it that you told him? First of all, you know, his energy and his emotions and yelling and um, – you, you can see, you know, as soon as he got those eyes, you're like, okay, give him the ball. Because um, every time when he's going to have the ball for us, he, something good going to happen. He's going to finish. He's going to make a great play. And, um, you know, G Jimmy is a winner. And uh, you can see it, what he did last night was something unbelievable. And, uh, you know, we need him. So we, we'll keep feeding him with the ball. And, uh, you know, he's going he gonna to make great plays for us. Hey, Lauren, it's, uh, well, no, sorry if you maybe been asked this, but what's it going to mean to you and the guys that the family can start coming down? Um, I mean, for some guys, a lot, you know. Uh, you know, for, for me personally, I would, of course, I would be happy, don't get me wrong, but, you know, my family is back in Europe, so it doesn't make sense to come to the States and be in quarantine and then, you know. And like Jimmy said, for me, it's the same thing. It's a business trip, you know. I'm all focus, you know, to win a championship. And I think so that's, I'm at that stage right now that I'm only thinking about basketball. Of course, I miss them, I love them. Um, but, um, you know, I got two young kids. I don't know what they would do here. You know, you, you don't have a lot, a lot of things to do, so. Do you, you manage to be able to, I mean, you guys have such a busy schedule, right? Yeah. But how much have you been able to be in touch during? I've been in touch. Been yeah, you know, especially in the morning, I wake up early so I can talk to them. And, you know, sometimes if I go late to sleep around 1 or 12, basically six, six hour difference, they're getting ready to go to school back in Europe. So uh, I can talk to them quite a bit. So, um, you know, luckily, we are this time, we, we have FaceTime and everything, so we can talk and see each other.